gent on a fucking eight string can you you really can't especially if you dig like the mashuga and the periphery and all that you know anyways welcome one and all to my music channel i am daryl smith in case you didn't guess by the name of the channel down there but anyways ever since i put out my playthrough of my song silent assassin played on this here guitar a lot of people have been asking me what is this guitar like and is it a good buy? Is it comfortable to play? Is it easy to play? Uh, is it good for, you know, someone who's just getting into 8 strain or whatever? And I am here to answer those questions for you. Uh, let's start off with the spec. Uh, this is just coming straight off of, like, uh, Schechter's website and off of the uh, Anderton's website where I purchased this. Uh, let's see, we have a basswood body with a um, one-piece maple neck. Rosewood board, we got Schechter's own branded tuners, which are actually pretty solid. Hardtail, uh, three way selector, one volume, and a tone. I mean, playing an 8 string, how often are you ever going to touch the tone control? But it is nice to have it there in case you need it. The one thing I really like about this guitar, in all honesty, is how it's constructed. Sorry, I'm moving around a lot, I'm just adjusting for shots. This here. It is a lifesaver, this um, recessed kind of um, bolt-on. The old Omen 8s that they used to make, I don't know if they still make them or not, but um, they just had the standard four bolt, you know, the square, you know, bolt, and it w wasn't particularly fond on it. You know, I had a, I used to have a Schecter Omen 7 uh, that had that, and I didn't really like that very much. But they have redeemed themselves, if you will, <laughs> by making this really nice uh, recessed bolt on here. It also got a nice little curve here, so that it gives you better just upper fret access, so it just doesn't get in the way. So it's really good for that, and it's really cool. It's also got a really nice beveled uh, top here, which is really cool. Uh, and I love the satin finish. I don't know about you guys, but I love satin finishes. They're just so cool. It's also got a nice satin kind of neck to it as well, so it's nice and smooth and easy to play. It's also quite thin. I don't know. I'll show you. See? See right there? It's actually... It's thinner than uh, most Schecters, I would say. Because, uh, I mean, you want it to be kind of thin-ish so that you can get across the board without too much difficulty. But then again, you don't even want it to be so thin that you're kind of losing tone, you know, because, as to my understanding, wood makes a difference to the tone of the guitar. But let's not get into that. Uh, the pickups are Schecter's own brand pickups. And uh, they are actually really good. And I'm, I'm not just saying that, and by the way, I am not endorsed by Schecter. Although, Schecter... Um, <laughs> basically, um, these pickups are actually... So as far as my knowledge, they were actually designed for this guitar, and I can tell you right off the back, uh, having owned a, an Omen 7, those pickups were not very good. I'm going to say that right now, I did not like those pickups. They were flubby, and they didn't cope with the low end, they sounded like six string pickups, and they just added an extra magnet. These actually sound like they were wound and designed to cope with the low end of an 8 string. So, you know, these are really well done pickups. But the question that is on everybody's mind is, does it sound good? And you can check out my video of Silent Assassin if you want to hear just a direct input. This is just going to be coming uh, out of my monitors into the camera mic because I want to give you all an idea of what it sounds like in the room. And you might even hear a bit of the percussiveness of the guitar, which I kind of like hearing. But uh, if you guys don't, let me know in the comments. So uh, I'm running through Bias Effects into an app that I made in Bias Amp. 
to be kind of raunchy and powerful, but I'm running a tube screamer in the front of it as long as a gate as as well as a gate uh, to uh, kind of keep the noise down, but also to give it a bit more punch. So here is the bridge pickup, full volume, and here we go. So you can hear, you can actually make out the low notes and stuff like that, which on a good, an eight string for this budget, you know, we just get whatever thrown in there and it doesn't sound very good. But here, you actually get some pretty good... You know, you actually get some good low end definition for this kind of guitar. Whereas in most um, uh, eight strings for this kind of budget, when you get down there, in fact, I will demonstrate by rolling the tone off a little bit, you get a bit more of that kind of... You don't really, not really wanting that. But with the tone up. So you get quite precise sounds. The neck pickup is surprisingly good. Whenever I solo, I always go bluesy straight away. So forgive me for that. But it actually sounds really good. And then when you get down to the lower notes, it's got a really good percussive sound, almost like a bass, you know. So. Disengage the tube screamer for a minute. Here. So yeah, it's actually not bad on that. I mean, for your chuggy, not really. But you know, but when for terms for like percussive sounds and stuff like that, you get really good. And when you get into the in between settings. Tube Screamer back on so you can hear what it sounds like with that. So yeah, it's actually quite, you know, good sounding for this kind of money. I mean, a lot of people will probably just take the pickups out and put new ones in and that's completely fine, you know, I mean, You've seen my other videos, right? I do that all the time. Some with varying degrees of success. But, um, yeah, you know, right out of the box. Can't go wrong with one of these, I would say. So, yeah, what, 330 quid, something like that? I mean, if you're looking to get an 8-string and you, for just trying out or whatever, obviously, go to your local music dealer or whatever, see if they have an 8-string and, you know, give it a go, give it a feel, see if it's for you. But if you're just looking for the sake of, like, I need an 8-string, we're playing in a band, and I don't have a lot of money. This is definitely a good place to go, because it's really easy to play, sounds really good for the money, sound, you know, quality-wise, it's actually holding together quite well. It's got a really good feel to it, nice and comfortable up against the body, and it's not too heavy as far as 8-strings go, because I've felt some pretty heavy ones in my day. It's not as heavy as my Les Paul, actually, so... <laughs> Gotta have something there. But uh, yeah, definitely, I definitely would recommend this guitar to anyone, just, you know, whether they're getting into eight strings or whether they're just curious or whatever, you know, so yeah, give it a look. But anyways, I have been Daryl Smith, and this has been my review of the Schecter C8 Deluxe Diamond Series. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time, whenever that may be.
just, you know. <laughs>